just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Shout out to Graven. YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's been a, a very eventful uh, 24 hours. Um, a lot of y'all already know what happened yesterday. And that, that was special. It was special. And we'll get into that in its own separate video. Um, but what we're here to talk about tonight. Uh, and I know this video coming out kind of late. Well, depending on where you're at in the world, it could be early. But anyway, um, my guy, Marco. Well, you know what? Not, not Marco because it's MG now. I can't even call him Marco no more. It's MG. Um, he sent a, uh, a very, very good question from subscriber and Marco um, I appreciate uh, every one of your questions uh, because when, whenever he sends a question it's like it can be something that some people may have thought of but he puts a different type of spin on it and I appreciate you being a patron as well thank you for that uh, and real quick special shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons appreciate y'all man because again I always say it is it's not anything that you have to do but the fact that y'all do it and y'all willing to support uh, the channel extra i appreciate it and, and to all the patrons, anybody that wants to become a team keep it clean patron you can go to patreon.com slash engraving vids and if you don't want to become a team keep it clean patron you ain't gotta go nowhere that's it that's it but no nah, I, I seriously appreciate y'all though thank you for that um marco he i'm pff, mg i'm so used to calling him marco mg let, let's see what he had to say uh, he said hey what's good engraving it's your boy mg with the abundance of dbs we have and, and let's just take a, a second to reflect on that because as a ravens fan hearing the word abundance and dbs in the same sentence and they're talking about each other and we're not talking about an abundance of injuries with our dbs no no but to to be talking about that it's, it's somewhere that, we, that we've been before in a conversation that we've had before but it's all, usually always ended up resulting in not so much of an abundance uh, by the time the season rolls around. So hopefully this year will be different. But again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And the Ravens have seemed to be doing that. Anyway, he said, uh, with the abundance of DBs we have, if you had to pick 11 total DBs to make the roster, so not 12, not 13, not 14, 15, not 10, 9, 8, 7, if you had to pick 11 total DBs to make the roster, Corners and safety. So the whole secondary. Which 11 would you pick? Thanks for the content. Stay safe and peace. Hey, appreciate you. MG. I almost called it Marco again. Anyway, um, I had to write this one down. I had to, had to write it down. Um, so uh, for cornerbacks, I would choose Marlon Humphrey. I feel like that's one of the obvious ones. Uh, Marcus Peters. I think that's another obvious one. Uh, Kyle Fuller, that's another obvious one, I think. So those will be uh, my, my, my top three obvious DBs. Um, then the other guys, I would choose Pepe Williams, Demarion Williams. Um, also, Jalen Amore Davis. Um, so those are my five cornerbacks that I'm choosing. Before you say something, just wait till we finish, because I know what a lot of y'all probably going to say, but just wait. Now, moving on to safeties. Five safeties who I would choose. Marcus Williams. I think that's an obvious. The Ravens just ain't paying all that money for nothing. Uh, Kyle Hamilton. I think that's an obvious. Ravens ain't just, just draft him in the first round for nothing. Um, now, hopefully, Chuck Clark. Hopefully. Because, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And them having so much depth there is a beautiful thing. I hope they keep it. I hope they keep it. But anyway, um, Tony Jefferson, who is a, uh, he was returning from last year. And I remember when they signed him last year, uh, during, in the, like toward the end of the season. Um, and just the heart that he played with. He looked better. To me, he looked better and more comfortable than he did when he was here, like, what, two, three years ago. To me, and maybe it's just that he felt like he just got to make the most of this this second chance with the Ravens because he loved the Ravens. He ain't never talked bad about the Ravens, even though they cut him after he got hurt. He was never like, oh, man, these dudes just treated me like damaged goods. No. He ain't never had nothing bad to say about them. He even was telling people to go sign with them even after they cut him. 
He was still telling people, you should sign with the Ravens. Whoa. But, yeah, last year he just looked rejuvenated. He just looked like he had a, a spark or something. Um, but, so when they re-signed him, it wasn't a surprise to me. Um, I, I don't think he should be the starter, but he is quality, quality depth. Uh, and somebody that has plenty of starting experience. And I, I think it's very important that if the Ravens are going to keep Tony Jefferson on the roster this year. And this is really just, this goes for any single player, but especially Tony Jefferson. Play him to his strengths. Being around the line of scrimmage. Being in the box. Play him to his strengths. Not saying that he can't cover, but his stronger attributes is the physicality. So, again, being in the box, being around the line of scrimmage, being in that area. Come on, Ravens. Mike McDonald, hey, you got a clean slate. You got a clean slate. So, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so my safeties, Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, Chuck Clark, Tony Jefferson. Number five, Geno Stone. Geno Stone, mm -hmm. the guy who uh, picked off Ben Roethlisberger for the last time I think, in the regular season. All right, and then, so that's 10. That's 10. He said 11. Now, I put an asterisk next to this next name, and this is why when I said corners, I told y'all to hold off before y'all said anything, um, because this guy is a corner, but this guy is also a safety, and I mean, he's also a running back because he used to play that. Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens is number 11. So my, uh, my guys that were close are Darius Washington. That's, that's a tough one right there. You know Ravens loved him some are Darius Washington. They gave him the biggest uh, signing bonus last year for an undrafted rookie free agent. So they clearly valued our Darius Washington. Um, and then uh, Kevon Seymour. Kevon Seymour could be a practice squad, though. Uh, he'd, he'd probably be on practice squad. So... He, I don't, he, I don't think he'll make the actual roster roster, but he'll be on a practice squad. So just in case, again, stay ready. So you ain't gotta get ready. Um, but our Darius Washington is a tricky one. Now, if something, if if Chuck Clark ends up getting traded, um, then I would put our Darius Washington in his spot. But if Chuck Clark remains and he does not get traded, then because and that's where it's tricky. Because I, I feel like uh, with our Darius Washington, it's close because they they liked him as sort of a slot corner. Uh, obviously safety too, but um, it's, it's close. And I think where it's super close for me, in my opinion, are Darius Washington and Geno Stone. Geno Stone, in my opinion, has the, the edge over him because of experience. Geno Stone has the NFL experience already. So they know a lot more about NFL Geno Stone than NFL or Darius Washington. So that's where I would just be like, ah, yeah, he, Geno Stone got him right there. So those would be my 11. Y'all want to put y'all 11 in the comment section? Or if you agree with this list, I know with, um, with like the top like eight, the guys who we know like a, like a locks, locks, like Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, um, I feel like they locks. Fuller, I feel like he'll be there, but I don't feel like he's a lock. But I feel like he's probably going to be a lock, but I don't think it's 100%. But Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters, I think they're 100%. They locks. Uh, Pepe and, and Jalen, I, I think they pretty much locks. Um, Marcus Williams, obviously, lock Kyle Hamilton, yeah. Uh, Chuck Clark, was depending on what happens, obviously. But other than that, they're no locks. After Chuck Clark at safety... In my opinion, there are not any locks. Tony Jefferson, I don't think, is a lock. Geno Stone is not a lock. Or Darius Washington is not a lock. Brandon Stevens is a lock. Um, Cause he corner safety both. He's a lock. Um, but yeah, guys who I feel are, are not 100% locks. Fuller, even though for, with Fuller, I feel like it's like a 90%, something like that. Um, but Tony Jefferson, Geno Stone, or Darius Washington, Kevon Seymour, I don't think they're 100%. Um, so yeah, that, that's what training camp is for though. That's what training camp is for. Um, so they can really see like, hey, okay, who we going to roll with and who are we going to hope to keep on the practice squad and who are we going to just let go? So real good question. Something to think about for everybody. 
uh, for all Ravens fans because time is ticking, man. It is July. I looked at my watch because I thought the, the date was going to show. Oh, it's the 10th. Okay, I see it in the top left corner. Today is July 10th. Um, training camp starts on like the 22nd or 24th, something like that. I don't remember when it starts, but um, it starts soon in a couple weeks. So, yeah, man, that's when they start hitting. The pads come on and, and it gets real, real. So, anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. MG, appreciate you. Uh, as always, appreciate all your questions, as always. Um, and yeah, this is the week. This Wednesday is the day where you can, um, the passes for training camp. If you want to go see Ravens up close and personal, this, this Wednesday, um, they go not on sale because they're free, but they will be up for grabs. And it's first come, first serve. I encourage anybody, um, if you have the availability in your schedule to make it to the training camp especially if you if you if you've never been even if you have been go but if you have never been go if you can because one is free another thing it's not early morning no more so we ain't gotta wake up early it's in the afternoon which i love i know a lot of people are like oh man the heat is gonna be hot why are they doing that hey sorry I'm, I'm from south florida so the heat ain't gonna be nothing for me but anyway um if you can go Please go because it just gives you a different appreciation uh, for the Ravens and just their production. And just it's a very nice facility at Owings Mills. Um, it's just it's, it's really nice. And you're up close and personal. Like you can go to a game and see them at the game. And that's super cool, obviously. And that's the most fun thing to do. Um, but with training camp, you're like up close and personal. You're like right there. Then if you got kids, young kids, they could meet the players and stuff. They could take pictures with them, get autographs, get something signed and all that. So there are opportunities, man. So it's just it's a really cool experience. And they, I think they're going to have like not food trucks, but they're going to have um, they're going to have like different games and little activities and stuff for the family, for the kids, for everybody, man. So if you can go, please go. And the way that the, 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 the tickets work, if you get a training camp ticket, you get a, a, a car what is it, a, a car pass? Something like that. You get a pass for your car. but So it's not like, all right, I got to get a ticket for this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. No, you get a, a pass for your car, and whoever's in the car with you, they can go. Whoever's in the car. So I guess what, what we should do, like somebody should rent like a, like a limo, like a, a, a Hummer limo or something, and get a pass for that, and then bring it, and then we'd be like, hey, we, we was all on the same pass. It'll work out, right? But anyway, um, so yeah, if you can go, go. But anyway, love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we will talk about the events from uh, yesterday, uh, probably in a video tomorrow. So I'm just got to get some stuff uh, all put together and whatnot. Because um, it, it was a cool experience. Man. It, it was super cool. Anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out. Shout out to Graven.